So it says an unlikely hero must channel her newly video. Um, if you guys like a more video, the the problem was good. Um, I enjoyed seeing the day. seeing my face hey babes my name is Angela Faye um if this isn't your first time seeing my face welcome back honey um I need something to call my subscribers that would fit me so I've been thinking of a list of names so I'm gonna drop it in my community tab sometime soon and you guys can vote from there so, um, as you guys see by the title of today's video, I will be doing a movie review. This is my first time doing a movie review. Let me move back a little. Okay, wait. This isn't my first time doing a movie review. Um, I did one on the movie, on the A24 movie Zola, which was loosely based off the Twitter thread that happened, like, years ago um i might redo it but it's still on my channel um you can go check it out if you want but today's video i will be talking about the movie everything everywhere all the time um i recently just watched it the other day with my roommates before i came home for break so yeah um so this segment of my channel will be posted every monday um i don't know if this is going to be up on a monday because i am recording this on a monday because i low-key just got the idea while i was drunk last night so yeah um <laughs> guys so yeah um I'm trying to fix my ponytail. I don't know. Okay. I guess that's better. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to read you guys what... I'm going to read you guys the movie description that Google gives. And then I'm going to give you guys a... Asia LaFay description of what the movie is. So, let me pull up the... Everything, Everywhere all the time is the name of the movie oh y'all it's the fact that the movie is called everything everywhere all at once so not everything everywhere all the time it's all at once so okay um so it says okay so it says an unlikely hero must channel her newly found powers to fight a bizarre and bewildering danger from the multi-universe as the fate of the world hangs in the balance okay so the movie came out on march 25th 2022 so it recently just came out this year but i recently just watched it so that's what like the movie description says on google but from me and this movie was about a Asian mother named Evelyn who was being a tiger parent. If you don't know what a tiger parent is, a tiger parent is basically someone who immigrates over to America from China, Asia, you know, across the country, across the country, across the oceans, basically, to get here. So, basically, um, they become overbearing, um... They just want their children to be perfect and have a, you know, a better life than they did now that they're over in America. Um, but Evelyn, somehow Evelyn and her family gets tied into this multi-universe, so it's multiple of them, and they're fighting each other, basically. So, Evelyn's daughter is the... I don't know... <sighs> don't watch this video if no watch watch this video i'm gonna do a spoiler part and a non-spoiler part so this will be the non-spoiler part 
So Evelyn and her family have to come together in order to save each other from the evil, um, the evilness that is coming to them from the multi universes. But as they're fighting, it makes them come closer together. Um, this movie follows Evelyn, her daughter. I, I believe her daughter's name is Joy. Yeah, Evelyn, Joy, their dad. Well, Evelyn's dad, and then the husband, whose name I don't remember. But the husband was, like, one of the best characters out of the movie. He deserved his shit for real. So, um, yeah. It was a very good movie. Um, I would suggest if you're going to watch this movie, watch the movie sober. Um, if you guys know, I don't smoke, so. But watching the movie drunk... I feel like will be an experience um because when i watched it i watched this over so i don't i don't know how it would feel to watch this movie drunk um i probably should re-watch it and get drunk while i do it just the fact that i'm always talking about getting drunk anywho's so yeah um the movie was a great it was like i wouldn't say it was um, a family bonding type rela relationship. I wouldn't say it was a family bonding type movie, but like it it shows what a parent, like overbearing parents, it shows that like this is the stress that you put on your family and your kids because you are a stressor. So the multi universes was like the multi universes was basically the mother's evilness because the mother you know she was a tiger parent so the multiverses was basically the backlash behind the mom being a you know a tiger parent so in the multi universes um the daughter was the evil spirit the evil spirit or the evilness i don't know but the daughter was the evilness that the mother was trying to fight against with ignore all the noise in my background i don't know what that is and it's low-key just here so yeah um it was a great movie i honestly would rate it um eight out of eight out of ten i rated it eight out of ten for me um it's the fact that this movie has so much going on i don't even know what to say to be honest um script was real whale whale not real whale written um the connection between the mother and the father aka the husband was good um i enjoyed seeing the dad and when he was in the multi-universe and the way he was fighting this is it's not a comedy so don't go into it thinking that it would be a comedy but there were some funny parts like since you know obviously it was like a multi-universe thing um it was one multi-universe where the mother and daughter were rocks like i'm gonna insert a picture of the rocks that they were but the mother and daughter were rocks and yeah so it was just like um i would honestly say don't go into the movie thinking oh this is gonna be a comedy because when i tell y'all this movie was tripping me out it was most definitely tripping me out. Um, between them going back and forth to the multi-universe, to the regular universe, I didn't know which one was the multi-universe them or the real them. And then we was just like zooming and we was going into different colors and different universes and every different universe. They was changing clothes. <sighs> like in one universe, um, the daughter had like this big bun on her head but it wasn't a bun it was a bagel because in that universe she said she put all her mother's stress onto her not onto her but like she took all of the stress that her mother was giving her in the like real universe and she put it on a bagel so she really made like a everything bagel from stress so she was like wearing the bagel the bagel on her head because it was like her mama was stressing her out 
And then it was like a point where the daughter was like, look, if we just kill ourselves, we ain't even got to go through this no more. She didn't say those exact words, but that's basically what she said. She was like, look, Ma, we could just kill ourselves and then we'll be straight. Like, we ain't even got to fight no more. And then the mama was like, okay, come on, let's do it. And I was just like, so it's fuck the daddy? Like, how you just gonna let the daddy out? Like, what the daddy do? Maybe he wanted to join y'all a little pact in all the other 50 million universes. But y'all didn't even ask him because y'all was just sitting up here worried about each other because y'all was really beefed up the whole movie. Like, the mother and daughter was literally beefed up the whole movie. Like, this movie was literally about a mother and daughter's beef basically like it was about that beef and then it was yeah <laughs> the movie was about a mother and daughter's beef and them trying to solve the beef throughout the movie and then they get somewhere and then they get turned around and then the granddad the granddad was in his own little world but when he came outside that man was on a different timing like he came outside and was like okay i know where we at come on we finna start killing he's switching into multiple universes he wants to kill everybody it was a point where he wanted to kill the daughter he wanted to kill the granddaughter the only person that the granddaddy didn't want to kill was the husband and the husband had to be my favorite character out of the entire movie because he was the realest one. He was the only one that actually realized what was going on to begin with. And then, I don't know how, but he ended up getting confused, which what made me and my roommates confused. Because we was just like, sir, you the, um, you the realest one out of the whole movie. How you confused and now we confused. And then they was transforming into rocks and then... They owned a laundromat, and then they owned a laundromat the whole movie, y'all. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but they owned like a laundromat the whole movie, and it was just like in one moment, the mama was watching a raccoonie, not ratatouille, raccoonie, cook dinner, like ratatouille, but it was just a raccoon. So the mama was like, oh, it's Rakakuni. And everybody was like, girl, you mean Ratatouille? And she wasn't listening because she forgot that when she go into these different multi-universes that nobody's going with her, she ended up snitching. Like, yeah, we, we be transforming into different multi-universes. But it was the fact that it was when everybody, because it was a point where everybody in the town, I don't even know where they lived. I don't even. What is all that noise outside? It's eight thirty-five in the morning. Anywho, anyways, where was I? Yeah, so everybody was switching into these multi universes with them, but when they would switch into the multi universes their body like okay let's just say you know this was a multi-universe right now right so like let's just say in the other universe i'm in paris my body will still be in this multi in this universe recording this video and going to edit it and put it out but me and my brain i'm somewhere in paris in a multi-universe basically so the the problem that I had with this movie is the fact that I wish we could have learned more about the evilness that was coming to the mother and the family because the dad was the first person that was switching into multi universes. So he was able to explain to Evelyn, which is the mom. He was able to explain to Evelyn what really was going on and like when he would switch into multi-universes, he was able to explain to Evelyn, you know, what's going on, why is this going on, but we never knew what the evil spirit was or why the evil spirit was chasing Evelyn. Like, it literally, the dad literally came into, like one of his multi-universes okay so one of the dad's multi-universes literally came to 
Real Evelyn. So Fake Dad came to Real Evelyn and was like, look, I need your help. Um, this evil, I forgot what he was calling, like, the evil person, but he was like, yeah, like, the evil, the evil person is looking for you, and I don't know if you're the right Evelyn that I need to solve this case. So, he basically told her, like, look, I don't know if you're the right Evelyn to help me solve this, but if you're not, I'm going to a different universe to find a different Evelyn. Like, that's basically what he said to her. So, we never find out. And if we did, guys, I'm sorry. I just forgot about it. Not me having hiccups. Um, So, I honestly don't know if we found out why Evelyn was being targeted by this evil person or the reasoning behind Evelyn being targeted by the evil person. But it was just like, one day the evil person, like, gained and they was beefed up <laughs> like it basically was like the daughter came home from college i believe the daughter went to college the daughter came home from college and then that's when everybody was switching into most universes but it never explained why this evil this evil being was attacking this sweet asian family that stayed above the laundromat like we never got into that and i want to know for real, why was they targeting them? Because, honestly, y'all could have been targeting a black family that owned a restaurant. Like, why was y'all targeting this Asian family that stay above the laundromat and own the laundromat and got debt with their laundromat? Like, it just wasn't making sense. And then the granddaddy was dying, and it was just like, why are you targeting them for real? Like... It's the fact that it's all this noise outside of my window for me. Like, it did not do this before I started filming. Which is ghetto. Anywho. So, yeah. So, overall, the movie was great. I would recommend it to... You know, obviously y'all, because I'm sitting here filming this video, recommending this movie for y'all. Um, we watched it on the website called Soap 2 Daily. Um, you know, illegal activity, illegal college activity. So, um, it, come, it came on TV since I've been home, and I've been home since Wednesday. Um, so yeah. It comes on TV often, um. You guys should check it out. I would most definitely recommend it. Um, I would also recommend that you watch it with somebody because this movie was most definitely hilarious. Um, just watch it with somebody. You know, you could honestly sit there and be like, yeah, this is funny and we're sitting here dying. Because me watching it with my roommates was probably one of the best decisions I made. Because if I didn't watch it with my roommates, I probably would have watched it with my best friend. Or I would have watched it by myself when it came on TV. But I would have really not been paying attention. And this is honestly one of those movies that you need to pay attention to. Because the moment you look down at your phone and you look up, it's a fight scene. And Grandpa is getting ran over by a tractor in his wheelchair. And then the daughter is outside playing golf. And the granddad trans the granddad goes to the multi-universe with the daughter in it and he runs her over with his wheelchair and then the mama and the daughter fighting and then the daughter got this big ass bagel on her head i kid you not and then the mama and the daughter turn into rocks and then you look back up and they making a pact to kill themselves via suicide can i say that can i say suicide on youtube I don't know. Anywho's. So that would be the end of today's movie Madness with Asia LaFay. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. Movie Madness with Asia LaFay. Okay. Anywho's. So that will conclude today's video. Um if you guys like more videos like this, please comment down below some movies that you think I should try out and I would most definitely get on those. 
um or you can message them to me on instagram or twitter um i check both dms if you have any other video request you can most definitely comment it down below or you know hit me up on my socials um i will see you guys next monday with another movie madness bye guys <laughs>